I'm in that thing. I'm trying to breathe is what I'm doing. What are you doing with that brush? Every morning you come out here, you move that duster there and that duster there. Why don't you just whistle? It must know where to go by now. <laughs> oh, swept up. Places need sweeping up. Right. Well, tell me this then. What are you going to do with it when it's swept? Do with it? Why, what should I do with it? Well, why are you sweeping if you don't know what you're going to do with it? Well, what can I do with it? Enjoy it. You swept it clean. Have you ever thought of enjoying it? I enjoy it being clean. <laughs> Have you ever thought of quality leisure time? A little table outside, a few chairs, a glass of vino? Men. Life's not for vino. Life's for sweeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Expected to come into flower. <laughs> hey, hey, look at this, his suit's gone green. <laughs> that's a green suit, you muffin. Oh. Oh, yes, you're right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a green suit, all right. No doubt about it, that's green. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I had it made for special occasions. What special occasions, this? It's Robin Hood's birthday. They're related. They share the same gene for colour blindness. <laughs> you better come in, Billy, before you're covered in green fly. I think some folk have never seen a green suit before. Well, we'll like it better in the autumn when it goes brown. <laughs> <laughs> special ceremonial suit. Why does everybody think it's a funny suit? It's the colour. It has to be this colour. I wear it in his honour. The Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> That's really nice of you, Billy. Not the Jolly Green Giant. I wear it for our kid's birthday. Whose birthday? Robin Hood. You call Robin Hood our kid? <laughs> We're related, on my mother's side. She was a Bristol. And today's his birthday. How did you work that one out? <laughs> Historical research. Oh, uh, being of an inquiring mind, may I ask, where did you do this historical research? With a local expert. With Entwistle. <laughs> Entwistle is an expert on Robin Hood? I didn't know that either. He does this mystical reading of the past. He's an electrician. Right. <laughs> He does it with a battery and voltmeter. Oh, as mystical as that. And then Whistle told you this is Robin Hood's birthday? Guarantees it. You believe anything. I don't. <laughs> I've got an escape clause. If it turns out not to be Robin Hood's birthday, I get me money back. <laughs> You've heard that? I haven't heard a thing. Not a whisper. Then you must be born under a lucky star to be accidentally passing just when I'm offering the bargain of the week. I'll take it. That's what I like. Decisions. Even if you don't know what it is yet. I don't care. I need something to take my mind off things. Oh, I wish there were more like you, lad. It's people like you could give dopiness a good name. <laughs> Looking very reflective, Howard. My mind's in turmoil. 
I get like that. Yours doesn't move fast enough for turmoil. <laughs> Listen, it's not of my business. It's not that I have a personal interest in this thing, but did I see you with a certain young lady in a bridal dress? It was just a rehearsal. The big day is tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> You're going out in it, then? Any other day of the year, you can't go out like this. But today is Robin Hood's birthday. Mr Hardcastle says everybody will be celebrating Robin Hood's birthday. They'll all be wearing this colour. Now, let's go. I thought we'd have our picnic in the Greenwood. Does everybody know it's Robin Hood's birthday? Everybody knows. Mr Hardcastle says everybody knows. I must say you look quite attractive in green, Barry. You'd make a nice, cuddly sort of outlaw. A try fierce and ruthless. Wild <laughs> Barry of the Woods. What does Wild Barry of the Woods feel like for his picnic? Have you got any mushroom pate? Wow. How wild can you get? <laughs> now, there you are, lad. Auntie Wainwright's adventure pack. It contains everything you need for a life of travel and excitement. <laughs> adventure pack? How am I going to get this home? That would be your first adventure. <laughs> oh, look. There's a box coming in. <laughs> Often you see a box coming in. What the, what the blazes have you got there? It's my adventure pack. It contains all the man needs for travel and danger. You'd be better off with your bus pass. You see what can happen to people on Robin Hood's birthday? It's the new Howard. Howard the Magnificent. I don't feel magnificent. I've had a shock. Well, you're going to get another one when you get back home. I may never go home. I may just wander endlessly. And leave behind your 24 complete issues of the Practical Goldfish Keeper? <laughs> I want you to be honest with me. It's a bit late for us to start now. Then he was a boy scout. Got a badge for it. That was for woodcraft. Well, there you go, hard. Best we can offer. Not sure about honesty, but uh, badges for woodcraft. I want you to answer this hypothetical question. Oh, this is not about you, then? It's purely imaginary. Let's just suppose there was a young lady. Purely imaginary. Called Marina. <laughs> it could be anybody. Called Marina. <laughs> All right, for the sake of argument, let's suppose she's called Marina. And let's suppose that someone had a kind of harmless interest in her. Another person purely imaginary. Absolutely. <laughs> no wonder they get on so well. I mean, look what they've got in common. They're both purely imaginary. Imagine. <laughs> if you'd let me get the question out. All I want to know is... If you suddenly saw someone you were interested in wearing a wedding dress, would you take that to mean she's found someone else? I should think it's a pointer in that direction. <laughs> Definite clue. <laughs> Marina's getting married. Tomorrow. Today's just a rehearsal. There's something else I've got to ask you. Go ahead, Howard. You've just been jilted at the altar, but you're among friends. Ask away. Why is he wearing that horrible green suit? <laughs> what do you want? And a friendly greeting to you, too. I have time to stand here chatting to you. What do you want? I want to paint you. Oh, well, you're too late. I've just had my staircase done. Why do you have <laughs> nonsense? And you. I want to paint you. I want you to model for me. It's all right. Relax. All you need to remove is your pinny and your curlers. <laughs> and maybe pull your stockings up. Right, that's how it starts. And then what? 
Well, they're nothing. That's not what I hear about you, artists. Next thing I know, you'll be wanting to take me to Paris. <laughs> oh, I shan't want to take you to Paris. Don't lie. You're not getting me on your left bank. <laughs> why would I want to take you to Paris? Why? We both know why. Well, I wouldn't take you as far as Halifax. <laughs> Are you two at it again? What is it this time? I come with a harmless suggestion. He wants to paint me, then take me to Paris. Oh, in that order? Can't you paint her when she gets there? He's not getting me to Paris. I never said a word about Paris. I knew she was attracted to me. Well, I think she's getting a bit forward when she starts inviting herself to Paris. I mean, what the heck would we do? I bet you can't even speak French. What did she say? I didn't catch it, but it didn't sound like French. <laughs> Stay where you are, don't move. You are on security camera. Customers are reminded that shoplifters will be electrocuted. Do you get many shoplifters? Oh, had one recently. Snatched a valuable snuff box and went tearing off down the high street. You didn't chase him then? No. But he gave himself up when he got tired of me hanging onto his leg. I thought I'd see if you've got any electrical work wants to win. Oh, I see you also give readings. I don't like the word give. <laughs> Understood. Then in that case, yes, readings can be arranged. Suppose I had a customer who couldn't make up his mind and I referred him to you for a reading. Then I could refer him back to you in a better frame of mind. <laughs> I like the style of you people from Hull. You've got a dissatisfied customer. Returning goods. We told him it was a suicide mission. It's usually quicker than that. <laughs> you told me that this was an adventure pack. It's just an old uniform and a saddle. Have you any idea how many adventures there have been in an old uniform and a saddle? I need something to punch up my image. I think it might be slipping. You need a uniform. Uniforms do it every time. Ask Mr Entwistle. What does he know? It's not what he knows. It's what he can find out with his electric powers. You need a reading. Why do I need a reading? To find out whether that uniform will do you any good or not. <laughs> what do you think? I think you need a reading, Howard. I think you need your head reading. Give me this shot, Howard. Where's the helm? We'll watch. Instead of looking at Billy's suit. <laughs> we should all show a bit more respect for Robin Hood's birthday. Oh, of course. <laughs> How do you know it's Robin Hood's birthday? He told me. He did me a reading. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll have a reading. You'll never regret it. It's the beginning of wisdom. And for those who wish to be regularly wise, I offer a season ticket. I'll get the gear. What does he mean, gear? He does it by electrics. It's all very scientific. Not to mention dangerous. Stop <laughs> winding him up. <laughs> I don't believe Entwis was lost more than two or three. And that was because they weren't wearing rubber soles. <laughs> Long Barry, we'll never get our picnic at this rate. People are smiling at the suit. You chose to wear it. Mr Hardcastle said everybody would be wearing this Robin Hood stuff. I think he might have exaggerated, don't you? <laughs> oh, come on. You'll be all right when we get in the car. Nobody will see you in the country. Can't I just go home and get changed? If you just remove your hat with the big feather in it, nobody would notice. <laughs> Are you sure? It's just a green suit. Who's going to notice a green suit? Yeah. Oh, Barry, that suit. <laughs> Who do you think it is? Robin Hood's birthday? <laughs> First thing man in search of wisdom has to do is hold this. Is it electric? It's the other one that's live. 
<laughs> Sorry, you were right. You see how wise you're becoming already? <laughs> try the other one. You try the other one. You see? Would I lie to you? <laughs> May I say, Howard, how good you look on the end of a wire. <laughs> Doesn't he? Born for it. <laughs> Ask him a question, Howard. It's a bit public. Oh, we can take a hint. We'll withdraw. We know when we're not wanted. People tell us. <laughs> Time's money, lad. Ask your question. Are they listening? Of course we're not listening. <laughs> Watch for it. The battery is ready when you are. Well, what I wanted to know was... Don't look at me. Ask the battery. <laughs> How's he going to answer a question? With the voltmeter. I'll tell you what the answer is when I've read the voltmeter. I've forgotten the question. <laughs> it was, should I wear the old uniform in my adventure pack? That's a yes. You should. The battery says yes. You should definitely wear the old uniform in the adventure pack. <laughs> Also meant to ask was a man of wisdom would realize that'll be extra. How <laughs> expensive this wisdom. I, I was just wondering if a certain lady were on the verge of committing herself to something she might regret. Howard, are you sure of this? I mean, are you sure it was Marina in the wedding dress? It was her. You know when you see certain people in a wedding dress. Well, didn't she even give you a hint? Didn't she say something like, um, Oh, by the way, Howard, I can't see you for a while. I'm getting married. <laughs> she never said a word. Maybe she wanted to surprise you. <laughs> of course, there's no reason why she should. I hardly know the young lady. <laughs> Leave it to the battery. The battery will guide. something I said. <laughs> you wouldn't think you'd get all that emotion in such a small package. <laughs> she, she's marrying somebody taller. Fast about whistle. Person in hurry, not always fast. Who said that? Ain't whistle. I saw his lips move. <laughs> Uncle Walter. But he was Irish. Oh, well then. Ignore that. <laughs> What have we done today for the benefit of society? I can't be expected to remember everything. Well, yes. I suppose it's because I've got an inquiring mind. Since when? Since I realised we'd better have an answer ready in case somebody asks. Who's going to ask? The inspector might. Now you've done it. Now we've both got an inquiring mind. <laughs> we must have done something. Bound to. I expect we've just forgotten it. <laughs> we rescued a cat from up a tree, didn't we? That always gets a round of applause. We haven't rescued a cat from up a tree. Not yet, we haven't. But we're going to, aren't we? <laughs> That's good. That's what I'm here for. I'm the brains of this outfit. <laughs> ah, that looks like a rush job. It's like Uncle Walter got it right after all. <laughs> I've lost her. Well, if she's getting married, Howard, I'd say that's a fair conclusion. Cheer up, Howard. Look on the bright side. What bright side? You've still got Pearl. Oh! <laughs> She'll be all right when she cools down. It'll be too late then. She'll be married. <laughs> oh, would someone please calm this excitable person? I think his radiator's boiling too. <laughs> That'd look better boiling in uniform, Howard. That's the way to impress her. Sound idea, Howard. You're going to have to pull all the stops out here. Put your uniform on. 
Do you think that'll help? <laughs> I used to wear one myself. Always impresses the ladies. <laughs> won me the love and later the legal expenses of the former Mrs. True Love. <laughs> I'd like to wear a uniform, but they'll laugh at you around here. I suppose they'll laugh at me. I won't be in tights. They reserve the coarsest of wit for persons in tights. <laughs> I'll give it a try. It's not that there's anything between me and the young lady. It's just that I hate the thought of her throwing herself away on the wrong person. Maybe she'll be very happy with the wrong person. <laughs> I don't know what's up with Alice. He's been miserable all day. Oh, they do. They're sometimes miserable all day. With mine, it was on Tuesdays. Why Tuesdays? Mondays was wash day. Excuse me, but I still don't see why Mondays being wash day has to do with anybody always being miserable on Tuesdays. You won't remember proper wash days. You only had yourself to keep. I had a house and a husband covered in traces of his hobby. When they keep pigeons, that's a proper wash day. <laughs> when we started out, the only washing machine we had was me. <laughs> you had to boil everything. Every door and window open for the steam. You try keeping an eye out for your husband when the door's wide open and you can't see him for steam. Well, call me thick if you like, but I still don't see why your husband should only be miserable on Tuesdays. Because Mondays were such busy days. It was Tuesday before I could get round to making sure he was miserable all day. <laughs> no wonder they go looking for those of us prepared to give aid and comfort. Not when they've been through my Tuesdays. <laughs> Ladies, there you are. Almost a quorum. <laughs> You'll be thrilled to hear that I'm hoping to start an evening class devoted to the romantic novel. And I'm looking for a few more dedicated readers. <laughs> there, that's caught your interest. <laughs> evening class. Tuesdays, seven till nine. The romantic novel? Could I ask how much experience is required? It'll be quite suitable for beginners. I think I'll wait for intermediate. <laughs> She's being modest. She'll wait for advanced. <laughs> Don't they have anything in home improvements and paper hanging? Oh, Mrs. Daddy, <laughs> this is food for the spirit, for the imagination, nourishment of the soul. That won't take the blebs out of your wallpaper, will it? <laughs> What's up? Uh, hurry up, Howard. Get the uniform on. She could come back any minute. But we don't know if she's coming back this way. Oh, they went out this way, so the chances are they'll come back this way. You ought to be ready just in case. Well, what am I going to say to her about her getting married? Ask her why you haven't been invited to the wedding. And can you bring Pearl? <laughs> and will it make any difference to your future relationship? And does she happen to be marrying anybody that's good at repairing radiators? <laughs> you think it's funny, don't you? We think it has its amusing side. What are you doing behind there? Get a move on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I love it. I absolutely love it. You should always wear that. It's you. Oh, no, it, it looks great. Oh. It has impact. Well, how do I explain to her about wearing this uniform? Tell her you're wearing it for Robin Hood's birthday. <laughs> What's it got to do with Robin Hood's birthday? Well, tell her you're chairman of the German branch of the Robin Hood Appreciation Society. <laughs> Tell her the truth. Tell her you're insane. <laughs> Tell her you're just wearing it till your suit comes back from the cleaners. <laughs> Tell her you've just been called up. For the first world war. Tell her the post was late. Oh, Barry, it's not that bad. It doesn't even look right out here in all this greenery. It's too loud, even for springtime. We walk back to the car, and we get in the car, and we drive home. Who's going to see you? Oh, smile, Barry. <laughs> I'm waiting for that smile. <laughs> what is something 
cassette, Barry. <laughs> Oh, Marina, do I gather there's someone else? You look more like someone else than someone else. <laughs> He's defending the Kaiser. <laughs> and the Kaiser, sort of, dead. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> You're ready for the next Kaiser. Uh, is the lady in white planning on marrying anybody with influence in radiator circles? <laughs> She's just rehearsing for tomorrow. She shouldn't rush into these things. Rush? She's over 50. <laughs> Watch it, Big Mouth. I'm a young nearly 40. She's just rehearsing for the opening of Auntie's Bridal Boutique. I'm not getting married, Howard. Not that I don't have several opportunities. <laughs> oh, get it. I like a happy ending. <laughs> Perhaps you could arrange one for me, Radiator. <laughs> Careful, Howard. You're not dressed for happy endings. Now, don't you be taking your helmet off. We don't want anybody sitting on that. <laughs> not a happy ending. <laughs> oh, Marina. Oh, Howard. Oh! Mind what you're doing with that sword. <laughs> Where's the cat? He's gone down. How are we going to get down? He shouldn't be up. It's the cat that should be up. It wouldn't come up, would it? We had to bring it up. We're going to have to raid you in, aren't we? We're going to have to tell everyone that we stuck up a tree. It was an act of mercy, wasn't it? We were rescuing the cat. The lads will take the wee-wee. Everybody will call us the Airborne Squad. <laughs> this arrow with a message on it. Hmm? Happy birthday, Robin Hood. 